from the very moment that we discovered fire. Fighting with our hands would no longer be required. For we had discovered an insidious way to kill. Fire. What's going on guys? Welcome back and in today's video I've got quite a cool Dar Armour all set up and built ready for you. So as you may have figured by now or possibly not I'm going to be doing Salamanders. The Loyalist Legion that seem to use one of the cruelest weapons known to mankind the flamethrower but yet they're the only legion that cares about humanity so i think they're a pretty interesting bunch i've made diorama to go through and let us discuss this later on so anyway let me know any of your thoughts about the salamanders down in the comments and uh let's get on with the build so i started off as usual and i got myself a hand full of bits and as you can see here as my models assemble themselves very lovingly so that i've only 3d printed one part for these two models and that's i wanted a fire drake on the end of that flamethrower to really show that he was a salamander and yes that's the only thing I 3D printed for these two models. Please ignore the giant blob in the background. <laughs> so the next thing I needed to get was my bits to be putting in the background. And if you remember my Tyranids versus the Blood Angel with the flamethrowers, I've grabbed another one of those boards. And underneath here, I've got lots of just miss used unneeded prepared and got rid of and discarded and you get the gist uh, <laughs> all these bits that i've looked at putting onto dioramas at one point or another but they just haven't quite made the cut so i feel like for this build these are going to be perfect items to now give a bit of purpose back to and add them on to this diorama. So we're gonna get our sculptor mold and I'm just going to use it normally this time. I found that doing things like adding paint and everything like that, like doing these little experiments doesn't always work out the best for me. So uh, yeah, you know, I thought what I'll do this time is just use it normally, not add bits in and then hope that I see them later. So everything's gonna have a bit more purpose where it is placed on this, I suppose you say map. I wanna say map, that's what my brain is trying to say. <laughs> so that's the word I'm going with. So now because I'm gonna be using resin later on, I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on to form some barrier seals so the resin doesn't just soak into the sculptor molds. And then we're gonna get sanded, throw on some of this mixture that I've got here in the spray bottle, which is isopropyl alcohol, lots of PVA glue, and a bit of water so that it all comes through the spray bottle and locks everything tightly down. Now, I think we need to talk about the salamanders because I think they're a very underrated legion. The 18th legion, known as the salamanders, can be recognized by their green armor with a golden aquila adorned across their chest. A salamander skull on a pauldron and a tactical marking on the other. Their legion shouldn't just be known for their prolific use of fire weapons, such as heavy flamers, flamers, melters, heavy melters, and you get the gist, right? They like fire a lot. But they should be known for their warhammers and their swords. Unlike any other legion, they have three masters of the forge and they field more master crafted weapons than any other. Each marine is self proficient in mending and repairing and forging their own armor and weapons. This is because 
their Primarch Vulcan, when he first arrived on Nocturne, was taken in by a blacksmith. And these are the lessons that he was taught. Vulcan has got to be one of the most humbling characters in the whole of the 40k setting. Just full stop. <laughs> I mean, the guys are perpetual, and after Istvan was tortured, um, because so a perpetual, it basically means that he cannot die. So once he was killed, he would come back to life, and they just sort of killed him all over again. Drove him slightly mad, which is part of the reason why... Uh, you know, he's not in the setting at the moment, um, but he's left nine relics, five of which have been found. Uh, once all nine relics are found, he will then return to be the Primarch of the Salamanders. But Vulcan's not really the person that I want to talk about here. This is the actual Legion itself. This is why I think he is such a humbling character in the fact that he installed in his sons, in his battle brothers, that no human life should be needlessly lost. The value of saving the Imperium stands in everyone in the Imperium. And that's kind of why I wanted to build this diorama. I sort of, I've built something along the lines of a Space Marine saving an Imperial Guardsman before and Reddit, woo -hoo! Wow, did Reddit not like that? Oh, Ultramarine, why, oh, why would an Ultramarine be uh, saving an Imperial Guardsman? No, no, no. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> don't, don't, don't fill yourself with the mysticism of a story or a diorama that can be seen. But okay, I shall spoon feed. I'll lean in. But also, I wanted that fire effect that you're going to see in a moment. And it was kind of a last minute thought to add these LEDs, which is why you're not seeing them here. And, uh, Rig went on a bit of a bit of a bender and doesn't actually remember don't really remember putting the wiring in or filming it so <laughs> in fact I am going to take a brief pause quickly and just show you this was the um I think this was the drunken moment that Rig decided oh I'm gonna grab a drill and drill a hole and add some LEDs and oh god what am I up to <laughs> so yeah I do apologize um, if you want to see how I do this LED lighting effect, I've done a couple of other videos and I will link them above here. I do apologize for not showing that in this video, but you will see the overall effect very soon. And that effect looks pretty good. But for the moment, my uh, unclean one is leaking resin. Things that you just don't think about after a few beers, I suppose. Anyway, back to the salamanders. The fact is that they will save an Imperial Guardsman life. If they see one wounded, if they see one hurt, if they see one that can be saved, they will. They will go out of their way to protect the Imperium at the lowest level. And that is what I love about the Salamanders. And that's what I wanted to really put in to this Dharama. This Guardsman who's been blinded, and wounded and is just holding on to the back of this marine while this marine is probably saying to him don't worry we're going to get you to aid you just need to hold on and trust me and there's that sense of trust there as this guardsman holds on for dear life to this salamander to this warrior of nocturne to this angel of the emperor and waits to be slain or saved Well guys, thank you for once again joining me on another hobby adventure. 
this is, you know, you can sort of see now why I have wanted to put such a big contrast on, um, you know, flame, you know, flamethrowers, napalm, things like that. You know, really horrific weapons being used by the nicest guys going. So mega contrast there. Anyway, part of another reason why I love 40k. It's just very out there. <laughs> So, who knows? Right, anyway, guys, next build is going to be uh, the Thunder Warriors and the Custodians on top of Mount Arat. Still waiting for my Custodians to turn up, so if it's not that, it will be something else. The sooner they turn up, the sooner I can get building. Um, Thunder Warriors, no idea how to make them. Can't find any models to base them on, so... Uh, gonna be YOLO and them together. <laughs> anyway, guys, right, lovely lots. I will see you in the next one.